guys. For those of you who have to have the brightest flashlight around, the Clarus XT30R is for you. It has a max output of 1800 lumens with more importantly an 820 meter throw. That's 2,690 feet and over a half a mile long. This thing is a beast. In the box you get the flashlight itself, a magnetic USB charging cable, a lanyard, a low profile Griffin car charger, an AC wall charger, a holster, and two spare o-rings. Something that I'll mention right away is that the batteries are not removable from the cartridge, making these proprietary batteries. There's a magnetic charging port on the side of the XT30R which you use to charge the batteries. There's two 18650 3400 milliamp batteries and they definitely give some pretty impressive run times. Turbo is 1800 lumens at 2 hours and 30 minutes. We have high at 400 lumens at 6 hours and 37 minutes. Medium 100 lumens at 25 hours. Low is 20 lumens at 155 hours. Strobe is 1800 lumens at 5 hours. And SOS is 100 lumens at 75 hours. The XT30R is made from aircraft grade aluminum and is waterproof up to 2 meters or 6 feet. It has a Cree XHP 35 HID 4 LED. It has a hardened AR coated lens that is scratch resistant and has a nice smooth deep reflector that gives it that super long throw. And I will mention this guy is rather long, almost 10 inches in length. Alright guys, so I got this broke down here. We have the head to the light right here. We have the battery pack. As far as I know, these batteries are not removable. I've tried. Then we have the cigar grip and the tail cap. So to assemble it, it's pretty simple. Just screw battery pack onto the head of the light. Put on the cigar grip and the tail cap. So if we look at the head of the light, you can see that there are some teeth on here and you could definitely strike someone and do some damage with this. Then we have these heat dissipators. This doesn't really get very warm at all. It's funny, you can put this light and shine it on your hand and feel heat, but you can put your hand or finger right on the lens and it won't be hot. Uh, we have the side switch. We can turn this on and off with the side switch. We can cycle through the different modes with the side switch, we can double press for a strobe and we can also double press again for an SOS. And it has some other shortcut features like if you hold it down for, I believe two seconds, it will go to the lowest setting. And you can also lock out the light with the side switch. You can hold it down, keep holding it down and it should turn off here in just one second. So, and when you try to turn it on, it will be blinking right here saying that it's locked out. And then you triple press one, two, three, and the light will turn back on. On the other side, we have the charging port. When the light's charging, you'll see a little light indicator here. It will turn green when it's fully charged. Also, when you turn on the light, you'll see that it glows too. Right now it's glowing like an amber. It will glow green when it's uh, fully charged and then it will turn yellow when it's like in the mid between and then red when it's running running low uh, Below that we just have this little checkered pattern here to you know add grip a little cigar grip and then on the Tail cap we have a primary switch and a secondary switch now. There's two different modes on this there is a tactical mode and then there is a hunting mode Right now it's on the strobe. I have a strobe for the secondary, this is the tactical settings. So I can do a strobe with the secondary and if I hold it down for two seconds or longer, it will actually stay on. And then I have the primary so I can just momentary turn that on and off, but it will go straight to turbo. And I can do a full click and then I can use the secondary to cycle through the different modes. So if I want to change modes to the hunting, I hold down the side switch and now you want to hold this thing down for like 10 seconds and I'm just going to keep holding it down, keep holding it down. And what I'm looking for is a little strobe to start going on. That's the strobe. Now, once the strobe's on, you use the secondary in the back and when I press it, you'll see it blink twice for the camping mode and I press it again. You'll see it blink once 
for the turbo or excuse me for the tactical mode so if i switch it back to the hunting mode and i let off now you'll see that my secondary it goes right to low so now you have instant turbo and the lowest setting right there on the back now even though you use the tail switch to turn it on you can still use the side switch to cycle through the different modes and then use the tail clicky to turn it back off There you go, the Clarks XT30R. This is definitely one of my favorite flashlights of 2017. My only issue with it is I wish the magnetic charger was a little bit stronger. I might be a little bit spoiled with my Olight chargers. Those things are super magnetic. I mean, this one definitely does the job, but it could just be a little bit more stronger. But besides that, I would definitely recommend this light. I think it's awesome. It's blinding. You can shine this thing at the wall in front of you and just look at the spot and you'll still see spots. It's crazy. So I'll put a link in the description and that's that. Thanks for watching.